Hey humans, Brenda's back and this time with another review with Audio-Technica's newest launch of this year. This is the ATH MSR7B and I'm excited because this is actually a predecessor of ATH MSR7 which came out three years ago. Now, three years might be a long time to develop and release the latest update, but I can say after listening to it, it was definitely for good reason. I'm gonna quickly unbox the MSR7B for you guys. The one I have in my hands are the gunmetal, but it also does come in a black. You'll notice details like the matching headband and the ear cups are a nice earthy brown color. Comes with a nice neoprene pouch, a 4.4 millimeter balance cable, as well as a 3.5 millimeter cable, some manual guides, of course, and last but not least, the MSR7Bs. You'll notice, like I said, the matching headband, the ear cups, a nice earthy color, red detailing alongside the gunmetal ear cups, and the mesh cloth that the headphone sits on. In terms of design, the 45mm driver size remains consistent with the old model, and it seems like the sound has been tuned up to sound more refreshing without straying too far from the classic MSR7 vibe. Now, the new model utilizes Audio-Technica's A2DC connection type, which allows compatibility with other company gear. And I've already hooked up the E40s that the company makes, and these are in-ear monitors, just to kind of show you that they are compatible with the cables that come with this MSR7B. Aside from the dual audio inputs, the predecessor also features a wider but flatter headband, making these a lot lighter in weight also has 90 degree swiveling ear cups. The headband and the ear cups are memory foam for comfort and the sides are adjustable. Essentially, the major difference seems to be the addition of the 4.4 millimeter balance cable. Audio-Technica seems to be catering to their followers who prefer the strengthened and noise-free signal that a balance cable can provide without taking away from the depth of the details. The low end delivers a full yet natural sound that remains extremely engaging, especially when you're listening to music like rock, pop, jazz, and electronica. The bass is thick but expressive, and there's overall good control. The bass only enhances with the balance cable, sounding quicker yet deeper, and the low sound even more distinct. In the mid-range, the sound is well noticed in detail and accuracy due to the lack of compression and distortion that you can sometimes encounter. Although slightly forward, the mids still offer a good balance between an excessively detailed presence and a reserved neutrality, creating a full mid-range without taking away from the highs and the lows. Now with the balance cable, the mids sound more spacious and there's more separation in the details. This allows vocals to be better heard against other notes, and it also enables a three-dimensional sound and still embraces the highs and lows. Regarding the highs, the MSR7B seems bright enough for even the highest notes to sound like they're sparkling. String instruments sound detailed but not piercing, and vocals still surface with smoothness. The balance highs didn't have as significant of improvements as the balance lows and the mids, but there is more space noted as well as more depth in between instruments. Soundstage on these headphones offer an impeccable depth and a good sense of placement, leaving the sound incredible and comparable to even some open back designs. Instruments seem to occupy finite space, and that area effect can be consistently heard on any track. With use of the included balance cable, impression of space heightens, and the soundstage on these $250 headphones can be comfortably compared to that of any closed back headphone ranging up to $700. I've taken full advantage of the balance cable that is included with the MSR7Bs, and I definitely say these headphones are worth the bang for your buck. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you felt enlightened, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down below. I'll see you guys next time.